Today in the Pickle Plum Kitchen, I'm making miso ramen. So sharpen your knives, heat up your pans, and get ready to dig in. I could eat ramen every day. And one of my all-time favorites is miso ramen. It's super tasty and looks impressive, like you've slaved over a hot stove for hours. But no one has to know how easy it is to toss everything together for a quick lunch at home. I'm using awasi miso, which is a mix of red and white miso paste for our broth today. So let's get started. Put a medium-sized pot of water on the stove to boil. In a separate pot, heat up four cups of chicken stock. Then, in another bowl, add a quarter cup of awase miso paste with two tablespoons of sake, three tablespoons of mirin, and one teaspoon of sesame oil. Give it a good whisk and set aside. Then chop two garlic cloves and peel and finely chop one tablespoon of ginger. Finally chop about two cups of cabbage, peel and julienne a third of a cup of carrots, and finally chop three scallions. Now get a medium sized pan going over high heat and add two tablespoons of vegetable oil. Cook your garlic and ginger for about one minute. Then add your cabbage and carrots and cook for about two minutes until the carrots are starting to get tender. But be careful not to lose all of the crunch. Once your water is boiling, Drop the dry ramen noodles in and cook for a little less time than recommended on the package. About three minutes. We want them on the al dente side because they will continue to cook once they hit the soup. Drain and set aside. Then add two tablespoons of your miso tare soup base to each bowl. Add your noodles and add two cups of chicken broth. Stir well and top with cabbage and carrots, scallions and a boiled egg. Why not? And there it is. That wasn't so hard, was it? Now let me take a bite of this beautiful miso ramen. Mm. Oh yes, oishi. For more recipes like this one, check out pickleplum.com.